How you doing? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I'm doing. You doing? How you doing? How you doing? Well, come on. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing. How you doing? Doing. Doing. How you doing? 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 Approachable. I'm always going to be Alan, no matter what. And I, I realize that the positions I've held certainly have great importance. Uh, but I'm still just one of the 28,000 people that I've always represented. If you believe you want an awful big guy with a mighty big heart who will lead with enthusiasm, encouragement, and passion to support sections and to take care of the member, I want your vote. Final vote. 62 to 49, Alan Ranowski is the secretary of the PGA. I now declare Alan Ranowski to be elected the 37th president of the PGA of America by acclamation for a two-year term. I can't tell you how honored, humbled, and proud I am to be your 37th president. It will be a privilege and an honor for me to tell everyone in the world for the next two years that the PGA of America professional is the best in the business and the game of golf. He's accomplished so much and he's given back so much to the game and his heart is right there for the PGA member. If it's not the PGA professional who will be instrumental to player development, then who? And if it's not now, then when? He sat in every chair at every level and did basically everything you can do to serve the men and women of the PGA of America. I don't think any of us could imagine a Hall of Fame for the Middle Atlantic section without Alan right there. The level of respect in our section is certainly off the charts. I mean, I don't think you can find anybody that doesn't like Alan. Uh, and Alan has been instrumental in their lives. I've heard this analogy before. It, it's like the EF Hutton commercial. He's the guy who, when he talks, everybody else stops talking. Everybody tends to listen. <laughs> well, the one thing that I've, I've always tried to, to remember is that God gave us two ears and one mouth. Uh, so we know what to use more of. Uh, so usually I don't speak a lot, but when I speak, everyone knows that he must really have something to say if he's going to talk. He builds a coalition uh, with uh, great ideas, great thoughts, and then makes a decision. Once he makes a decision, they'll get out of his way because he's, he's coming. He's the raw, raw. He's the man behind there going, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. And uh, the, the golf 2.0, I think that'll be his legacy. There's no doubt about it. His passion and love for the game of golf and watching people have fun. He gets more joy, just like I get more joy watching people have fun when they come off the golf course and that they've had a great day. That there makes our day. Oh, that I'm makes Alan's day. Under Ronowski's leadership, the PGA and USGA joined together to promote the innovative Tee It Forward program. The response from industry leaders and golfers has been tremendous. One of the things that's important about Tee It Forward to make it successful is, is it has to be a joint effort of all of these allied associations. Helping veterans and their families, Ronowski now works with the Folds of Honor Foundation. We've been together since the very beginning, um, eight years now, and we've watched Folds of Honor and Patriot Golf Day go from an idea into a reality, and a reality that has changed literally thousands of lives. Ronowski's accomplishments at the national level go back to his Middle Atlantic PGA roots, where he followed in Bill Clark's footsteps, first at Hillendale Country Club, then as PGA of America president. As a young man, I sat there and I watched some of the legends in the Mid-Atlantic section, Bill Clark, uh, who I would wind up working for, Max Elvin, Bill Strasbaugh, Hank Majewski, Jim Folks, uh, so many legends that we had, and, and that you really set them on such a pedestal, and your dream was to be maybe half as good as those gentlemen, and now to be honored and go into the Hall of Fame with them uh, just means the world to me.